So AP is sitting at $1.54 right now. And as you can see, <laughs> this move, this is a super bullish move. And uh, what we are seeing right now, you can call it a flag structure, a bullish flag. Bullish flag is always a bullish structure. There's nothing bearish about it. But the thing is, um, all this happened because um, Ape had a news uh, in relation to the Ape chain, which came out and now there are expectations of um, massive volume on Ape chain because people are expecting to develop memes on it. And if the memes are going to start developing, then what happened to Solana and Base chain and so many other coins out there or recently what we saw with Sue, um, then it can start happening to ba Ape as well, to Ape chain. It depends on how people adopt and how many people actually continue to develop on it. Of course, when something is new, they go and start doing it. Later on, they get bored and they stop doing it. Now, Ape is connected to um, multiple um, layers of blockchain. So Ape is, on, uh, Ape is directly connected to Arbitrum. If Ape wakes up, Arbitrum wakes up. And Pyth is dependent on Ape. So Pyth... Uh, if Ape is doing well, it kind of uh, drops down on Pyth as well, but they all are linked. And of course, Arbitrum is then linked to Ethereum. So it has a, what do you call it, uh, ripple effect. Um, Pyth, then Ape, then Arbitrum, then Ethereum. They all fundamentally are connected. And the reason I, as I've looked into Arbitrum in depth is because um, I know about this just because of that, because I was seeing how Arbitrum is doing fundamentally. That being said, the support level for Ape based on the structure that we have in front of us is 1.2 because that will make it a 50% retracement of this overall rally. As long as 1.2 holds, you can expect it to rally towards 1.8, which is its resistance. If 1.2 breaks, then of course, that will become a bearish structure which we hope wouldn't happen, but that is going to be the case scenario. Uh, it was on my HODL list as well, uh, a coin that you buy and you hold it for larger time period. Of course, we got lucky with it uh, because I think on HODL, that was around 70 cents. And it was multiple X's on it. It went up almost three X now. <clears throat> but the case scenario of ape is not bearish whatsoever like i said this is a bullish it's a bull flag but of course this bull flag is between 1.6 and 1.4 so technically it shouldn't go below 1.4 but i'm saying 1.2 is just because of the 50 percent retracement that a coin naturally retraces 50 percent but if you're looking for uh, mini support and 1.2 is too much, then you can rely pretty much on 1.4. 1.4 is your mini support based on the bullish flag it should hold. It should hold 1.4 and then your mini resistance would be 1.6. So right now it is close to its resistance, which means that you should wait, let it come to 1.4 and then Take your position from there if you are super bullish on ape otherwise you can wait for 1.2 which is a better area to enter and then you can go and ride ape and uh, participate and try to reach its all-time high which was crazy in 2022 that was 28 dollars but it's too early to talk about it we take things piece by piece. That's why I make regular videos. So we will not get into that. I just wanted to share the overall fundamental, the larger perspective with you. So you understand why we, why Ape pumped, how everything is connected and how it's going to have a effect on the other projects. And of course, if Ethereum is doing well, Ape pumps automatically. If Arbitrum is doing well, Ape pumps automatically because they all are connected to one chain and they all have a ripple effect on each other. So again, 1.2 is your support. As long as that holds, you can expect it to break 1.8 and continue with support journey.